guys just when i made a video today saying that last year 2022 was not really a good year for nollywood actors because there were so many rips most of them passed on last year and i was like oh this year is starting with good vibes and all the like little did i know that nollywood actor pete edochi was actually in the hospital undergoing treatment welcome back to this channel i hope you are okay i hope you all are all right please want to hit the subscribe button if you're stopping by for the very first time to all my returning subscribers thank you so much god bless you guys like i was saying today i made a video and i was like i'm very happy the way this year is starting i've not heard any r.i.p anywhere i've not heard any like pray for this actor it's just been drama between um destiny tiko her adopted daughter as well as alex ikubo and his ex fiance. like there have been nothing serious little did i know that nollywood actor not only a nollywood actor we are talking about a veteran nollywood actor and one of africa's most talented actors mr pete edochi who also have happened to raise a son who is extremely popular and very talented to yul edochi well this man is undergoing treatment in the hospital so as like they have not actually updated us if something has happened or not but a close source has actually confirmed the fact that this man has passed on but the family is still trying to keep it away from social media are they trying to react the way chioma and the video reacted i really don't know but we if at all this man has not passed on we need to pray for him who then is nollywood actor pete edochi chief pete edochi is a nigerian actor he is considered as africa's most talented or one of africa's most talented nollywood actors he's been honored with so many merit awards this man is awesome he has a good way of talking an excellent way of featuring in movies he has a good way of interpreting every single movie role given to him and this man is 75 years of age he was born in zaria nigeria well, this man has actually been married to his wife, who is called um, Barrister Josephine Edochi. Mm -hmm. He's got so many children, including um, Yule Edochi and so many of them. I can't really mention all of them right now, guys, because I just hope, guys, I just hope this man survives and this man is okay. Because they said um, he has something with his chest more like his heart stopped beating or something like that so he was taken to the hospital today earlier for treatment in lagos we really don't know guys many people are now saying that since you she got a second wife and all the drama that maybe his father has been thinking about it and that is why his father passed on i'm like really seriously so him taking a second wife i know normally it has to affect his dad because his dad actually made a um more like a post saying that he would never he would never have believed that his son would have taken a second wife but then again i'm not sure that is the reason this man normally he's aging and as anyone aging there must be these little little things illness disturbing them you know right guys you know that old age comes with this kind of things but my prayer is that this man goes through all of them guys hmm, i'm not really ready to type rip because this is the same thing that happened to ifani like many people came online doing like no we've gotten information from the video that ifani is fine so we're now using that to cloud chase some probably like no we have ifani's video where he he's okay at the hospital where he the nurse is like he's fine but he was not fine ifani passed on and never has the video or chioma come online to actually say rip none of them they have not confirmed anything instead they have they have gone off social media like they have, they have tried to have peace off social media and they are working on themselves this same insider that gave this information that we should pray for Peter dochi because he might not get out of this is confirming to us that yule dochi may definitely um, Pete, sorry Pete dochi may definitely not get out of this guys this will not be a good way to start this new year at all like what becomes of his wife what becomes of his children like i don't even want to think about it what becomes of his grandchildren this man is a legend when we're talking about nollywood movies we don't talk about these um baby actors and actresses now we are talking about veterans when you want to count veterans we all know 
that Pete Dochi would is the first veteran actor that comes to your mind. Then second, maybe maybe Olu Jacobs, and then any other person comes next. But Pete Dochi is the veteran, and this man was strong. Like he lastly made a post where he was talking about his wife. Um, he was talking about New Year Day. They went to church. Him and his wife they were celebrating, and it's like the man of God gave them a certificate of participation. He posted it and he was like, "Happy New Year from my family to yours. I wish you all a blessed New Year." Blah blah blah, and so on and so forth, guys. But I always wonder, like, is it how easy someone can pass on? Is it that easy? Like, is it really, really that si that simple? Like that you can meet someone today and then tomorrow they are like. Pray for this person. This person, is, this person is not okay. This person might not get through this. This person has passed on. Like, is that how short life is? I've learned throughout these years that life is indeed very short. Like, you don't know when next someone might pass on. So at the end of the day, we all should learn how to live our lives happily. Let's do what really and genuinely makes us happy. Some people will be like, "Ha, this man is seventy-five years now. He has lived seventy-five years. Is not old at all. He's not old at all. Most of us, when we even reach this seventy-five years, we'll even be asking God to add us many more years. Like no one even deserves to pass on. No one, no one deserves to pass on. Like <clears throat> this is a new year, guys. Please, if you really and genuinely love this man, you would please like to put him in your prayers. You genuinely want to please pray for him because." I personally don't want anything to happen to this man. Like when I got the information, I was like, God, not again, not this man, not again. And some people will be like, if not this man, then who? Are you wishing it to another person? No, I'm not wishing it to another person. I'm just saying, like, well, we just started a new year. We just started a new year. I'm done with all the RIPs and everything. Whenever I get any information concerning his updates in the hospital, guys, I will make sure I tell you. So please, you want to subscribe and turn on the notification icon so that whenever I get any information at the hospital, I will just I will just give you all. Hopefully, the information coming to us remains a positive one. Well, guys, subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Stay blessed and please leave your prayers and anything you think concerning this video in the comment section below. Stay tuned.